Welcome back to Inside Ambition, a casual news show where we talk about all things Drexel. I'm your host, Alexandra George. We were going to make this week's inside look about virtual graduation, but there are more pressing matters to address at the moment. I'm sorry, seniors, but it looks like we're going to have to postpone our graduation segment to a later date. I'm sure that you are disappointed to hear that again, but newsflash, the world doesn't revolve around you. It revolves around this very bright orange t-shirt, obviously. Don't you like it? I got it from El Boutique de Dollar. Today is the first Friday in June, and that means it is National Gun Violence Awareness Day and Wear Orange Day. When 15-year-old Hadia Pendleton was shot and killed in Chicago in 2013, her friends started this movement to raise awareness about gun violence. I know that you've been seeing the headlines this week and watching the videos, and that you don't want to hear yet another white girl's opinion on the situation. But I want to use this platform to acknowledge the institutionalized racism that has oppressed the black community for centuries. And I think that it would be wrong of me to talk about literally anything else this week. But before we start, I just want to be straight up and say that I had a really hard time writing the script for today's segment. My heart has been aching all week. I want to address this issue, but I do not want to say anything wrong. And if I do, please feel free to call me out in the comments below. Just know that I'm trying my best. I cannot even begin to understand the pain and the turmoil of the black community right now. And there's no way I could even begin to define the injustice the black community has been facing for centuries in a YouTube video that's under 10 minutes. But I just want to say that I stand with you, I hear you, and I support you. And I think that I speak for much of the Drexel community when I say that. According to the New York Times, on May 25th, four Minneapolis police officers arrested George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man, after a Delhi employee called 911 accusing him of buying cigarettes with a counterfeit $20 bill. One of the officers, Derek Chauvin, kept his knee on Floyd's neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. 17 minutes after the first squad car had arrived, Floyd was dead. Since then, all four of the officers have been fired and Chauvin has charges of murder and manslaughter. At the time of this taping, the other three former officers still remain under investigation. And on May 30th, protests began in Philly. They started with nine minutes of kneeling in silence. And on May 31st, protesters made their way through Drexel's campus denouncing the police. Yes, this national outcry was triggered by the death of George Floyd, but that's not all it's about. This revolution has been long overdue. The official Black Lives Matter movement began in July of 2013 when George Zimmerman was acquitted for the shooting death of Trayvon Martin. But that's not where all this began either. Let's take a second to think about all the ways we have seen our society work against Black Americans. Black Americans are dying of COVID-19 three times the rate of white Americans, and Blacks are incarcerated at more than five times the rate of whites. Black moms in the U.S. die at three to four times the rate of white moms from pregnancy or childbirth-related causes. And black Americans are 10 times more likely than white Americans to die by gun homicide. And it's all connected. That's why I'm wearing orange today and you should be too. I'll wait just a second while you go grab your dollar store t-shirt. Oh wait, what? You don't have one? Shame. I mean, we all start somewhere, but there's definitely a lot more we should all be doing right now than just wearing orange. And I hope that many of you recognize the urgency by which we should all be acting. Take the headlines personally. Say their names. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Sean Reed, 
Tony McDade, and more. Stop separating the injustice of the Black community from yourself. This is a fight that we all need to contribute to, to win. Silence is complacency, and being complacent means you are taking the side of the oppressor. And like I said, none of this is new. Police brutality has been happening for years. It's just being recorded now. If you are confused as to how the officer could have taken it so far with Floyd, just think about all the instances that are not making it to the news. Think about the day-to-day run-ins that Black Americans have with the police force and start getting pissed. And I know you're probably wondering, but what can I even do? I know that it's really easy to feel helpless in situations like this, especially when you're limited by a global pandemic, but there's always something you can do. Work on yourself. Actively identify and combat your own biases vote, speak up, donate, donate to bail bonds and clean up coalitions and legal representation to those who have been jailed at protests. Donate to the George Floyd Foundation. Attend protests if you can and make sure that you're wearing a mask and keeping your distance. Recognize the privilege you have and use it to your advantage. Have uncomfortable conversations with your friends and family members. Changing the world takes time and it's hard, but this change needs to happen now. And it starts with you. In fact, earlier this week, there was a call to action by student leaders to the provost and President Fry to allow leniency with final exams. The images of police brutality and systemic racism from these past few weeks have drained us all and they requested that we extend the pass-fail deadline until the end of finals week, and that they allow an option for students to opt out of final exams with no impact to their grades. Next week on the show, we have invited some prominent Black leaders on campus to come and have a dialogue about the state of our nation and what we as Drexel students can do to be actively anti-racist. We also have linked some sites for you to donate to and petitions you can sign in the description. Circumstances are changing every day, so it is important that you keep paying attention to how you can best help. Attend protests if you can and continue to educate yourself and others. And as always, make sure to subscribe and like this video and leave a comment below about how you feel about this situation. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and keep fighting the good fight.